his smile, it's like perfect. I like this one a lot. 8.5. Don't wear the same outfit. Don't use the same background. Lots of guys make this mistake. Cool. He looks really, really handsome. What is this? He's like in the basement. What is that? <laughs> Do I want to go in a date with this guy? We're going to be reviewing six viewer submitted profiles. Let's jump right in. 7.8. First of all, the light is good. It's not awesome, but it's good. It's decent light. I don't like in this pose. It just makes it a little bit more feminine. Maybe the same background. If the camera was like facing up, yeah. he would be like showing a little bit bigger with more presence. I don't think you could be like going for eight, but it's very close. So basically the message is, if you're not in good shape, don't make it on full display that you're not in good shape. Mm -hmm. There he is. This is him being in better shape. What yeah, do you rate this one? Yeah, that's a good picture. I would say like 8.2. The background kind of like matches what he's trying to convey. So it's, that's a good point. The things are like talking to each other. So that's good. Let's jump to the next one. It's hard to say that pictures with pets won't perform well because they will. Of course, it would be a way better if it was him smiling to the camera, like holding the pet or doing yeah. something cute. Just, funny, yeah, as a quick you know? as a quick side note, the match group says statistically that the top best three performing photos is guy with a dog, shirtless ripped abs, and thrilling or adventurous shot. Okay, so his previous one that we just looked at, he has shirtless ripped abs. He's got guy with a dog. What would you rate this one if you had to rate it? Seven point nine. Okay. Again, it's because he could. Be been in the shot um, what about this one it's a nice frame he looks very very young for some girls this would be like kind of not so attractive but for this picture i would go for 7.92 for guys that are like really young i recommend lying up a little bit on your age just so that girls don't like think you're too like some girls are going to think this guy's too young especially since he looks really young in this picture okay so that was it what would you give like the overall profile right high seven low eight it's not a bad profile it's good i love this picture it's a lot going on here his smile it's like perfect it's not too much oh i'm so nice i'm so he's going no it's not but it's more like nice vibe it's like interesting it's kind of charming a little bit mysterious like the drink that's like blurry also gives a cool effect on the photo and you have like the trees in the background it's really really good i would say like 8.6 okay so note how like it's a lot being conveyed right she just talked about with the drink with the background etc cetera, etc cetera. like when we rate girls right we don't give a fuck if there's a good background i've seen them rate thousands of guys now and i review their ratings right and i have my own opinions too but i don't have female attraction circuitry like they do what i've noticed is like the girls will give a rating based on how the whole impression hits them if a guy looks like very average but he's in front of like a great background they rate the picture a lot higher whereas as men if there was a fat chick in front of like the best background in the world we would still think she looked like shit and remember women have 10 times more white matter than men which is responsible for interneuronal connections, social and verbal tasks, they're being drawn into like the whole scene, not just the aesthetics of the face. Okay, that's an important point. All right, next. Also like this picture a lot. Maybe it's a little bit too much edit. The face is like kind of too perfect, which is not a good thing. You should like put some edits. Don't do too much editing in the face. You wanna also like convey some flaws, like because every human face has some flaws. So if it's like too edits, mm, it might you put like too much work into it. I like the pose, I like the background, I like how he is smiling and not looking at the camera. Lights are really good, dressing is also very, very good. Just because of the editing. I would say like 8.4. Next. I like this one, but I don't think it's a good idea when he puts like pictures with other people, especially if it's like just two people. I don't know what's going on with his eyes. I think he got like a little bit messed up. Because of that, I would say like 8.1. Next. I like this one a lot. 8.5. What? I like the background water always perform very well. Maybe he's like trying too much to be like sexual and sensual, but it's nice. Overall, it's nice. Okay. This one? The thing is, this is a great picture, but looks a lot like one of the previous ones. Always advise like to take different kind of pictures. Like if you have one already sitting down in one kind of spot with one kind of background, try to not replicate. Okay, that's, a, yeah. that's probably one of the biggest mistakes guys make. Don't wear the same outfit. Don't use the same background. Lots of guys make this mistake. They go to the professional photo shoot. They have like one outfit change. You can only use one outfit per picture, okay, or per profile. But this um, picture is 8.3. And out of these, which one would you make the main picture and why? Oh, he's good with them. his main picture. He's really Okay, good. you like the one he has yeah. is the best? Yeah. And just as a side note, guys, you should be putting FaceApp Hollywood 2 
there's an app called FaceApp. It was a huge fucking hack secret. F-A-C-E-A-P-P. You should be using the impression Hollywood 2 filter on every picture on your Tinder profile and any picture you send to a girl ever again for the rest of your life. Okay, don't just fucking take some random selfie and then send it out on a WhatsApp status or put it on Instagram. You always want to be applying face app. It uses artificial intelligence and it enhances the aesthetics of your of your face. Okay, it raises your attractiveness by one to two points. Okay, let's go to profile number three. I love this picture. First of all, he's smiling from this picture. I would assume, I don't know this guy, I haven't seen the rest of the pictures of him, but from this picture, I would assume he's kind of strong, he's in shape. So it's nice that he's not showing off. And like the first thing that he conveys, like big smile opening, uh, notice that he uses like eyeglasses, right? It looks beautiful. He looks really, really handsome. So 8.7. Next. Very good too. Maybe it should have more elements, more things going on for the second picture because the first one was already kind of flat. I would say like 8.4. Let's go to the next one. Whoa, this one's good. This one's good, but what is the problem with this picture? The problem with this picture is being the same set as the previous picture, which is this same background. You can see like the same like kind of grass, the same kind of tree. Even if they are like individually very nice, sometimes when you put them together, it's like, oh, maybe this shouldn't be here and that one should. At least it's not the same outfit. So you have points for that. Some rules of thumb. Don't use the same outfit between pictures. He didn't make that mistake, but he used the same background kind of, right? Like it's like fucking outdoor trees and shit. And then we have that again, right? Mm -hmm. One thing is like you have one shirtless picture, one picture at the gym, not like the whole profile on that. And not like saying, oh, I'm all of this because I have this body. No. It's also worth noting, guys, like all the profiles we reviewed so far had pro photos with like nice poses and all that shit. Imagine if the profile was just like whatever pictures on your phone, like a lot of guys' profiles are, like most guys. Okay, you're already like in a whole tier lower than all these other guys that are using pro pics. This is the competition you're up against. That shouldn't make you intimidated or it shouldn't make you like want to give up because you don't look like a Chad or a model. That's not the point. The point is, in order to compete at a high level in online dating, it is essential, not even optional. I make every single client get a professional photo shoot. Okay, that's the first thing that I have them do. <laughs> there it is. I was waiting for that. That was like the normal path of life. What could be improved here? Better light. You see it's a little bit blur with the mirror over there. I don't like this picture so much for Sir Shirt, this picture. I think right. it has potential for more. And what would you rate this wishbone picture? 7.7. .7. Let's look at his bio. Adventurous guy. I love to ski, hike, and scuba dive. I enjoy going to the gym, running, and doing martial arts. Pretty solid to me. What, do you have any feedback here? Pretty solid. This one, to be honest, it's a good picture. It's okay picture, but... He looks a little bit too snobby. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. It looks you it know, looks like a it's guy like, that, oh, I'm like, too good. Like contrast the first picture of the last guy we saw that had his arms crossed, yeah. smiling, warm, approachable, etc. Exactly. This guy looks like he's trying to be cool and yeah. this looks more like a pose trying right. to look like a bad boy. Yeah, I don't think that's the kind of image that you want for a first picture. Girls are on Tinder, they are looking for some comfort, they are looking for a guy to date. You know, one thing is to have this picture maybe like in a boat, in a beach, in a resort, and something that's like, oh, I'm playing here. 7.6. <laughs> yeah. And largely because he's he's over trying, over posing a little bit. This one's a little bit confusing. I was like, which one is yeah, he? Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> like, you don't want to do that. He's not like the main thing in this picture. I don't advise having one like a picture like that. Yeah. So this and picture it, for me would be like 7.4. Okay, next Oh, that's a nice picture. Eight. Okay. It's a can. Okay. What about this? Nope. Not What's good. Wrong? First of all, like the room looks shitty, three. right? The look, the room looks shitty. Yeah. So this is Troy's sorry. picture. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry Jose. I didn't even look like the guy. The guy was the yeah. last there thing. You, there you go, right? You know, I, I know yeah. how they fucking look at this shit now. If there was a hot chick, like a girl that was a nine plus, and we put her in a dirty fucking filthy room, everyone would still swipe right if they had a dick and were a man. Okay? The end. Future DJ, gym every day. Wait, this guy had some DJ pictures I saw. Okay, what, what would you rate this one? Okay, eight. Let's be nice. Eight. Yeah, but it's not a very exciting it? picture. It could be more things in the frame. What about this one? He could have used this one as the first picture. What would you rate this one? This one, I think, is the, his best picture so far. 8.2. Why best? Oh, he's not like super smiling. He looks confident. The background could have more things going on, but also like a very minimalistic as his outfit. So I like it. We're going to review two more profiles. Is he hot? Is he attractive to the opposite sex or maybe to even the same sex? He looks like he would be a great friend. And yes. You, and you would never bang him. 
Uh, what, what would be your rating here? 7.4. A uh, real quick note on this bio. He's showcasing his height. In fact, he's an engineer that he's traveled. That's mm -hmm. fairly good. This one, what do you think here? 8.2. I like this picture more. Mm -hmm. Why? Nice haircut. It's all trimmed, you know? Like, even if his beard is not, like, very well done, but it makes, like, he looks a little bit older, which is good, comparing to the first photo that you saw that he wasn't, like, that old. Mm. It's okay. Maybe his t-shirt is a little bit too tight because now we have hard time because we can see maybe it's not like super muscles. I don't like the background much. Okay, I think it should be at least more more interesting as a background. Like I would say for this picture, like seven point eight. Okay. Two. Next. Mm, it's okay picture, but like it looks like too monotonous now. Now like you already start getting like that feeling of sleeping here. You could see like the backgrounds are very similar, like the same kind of ceiling too, it seems like, right? Sometimes the picture is good by itself, but like when you put it together with the others, like it's not that good. 7.7. .7. Again, the same, same shirt, shirt, the same, same kind background. of background, the same kind of light. It's like, it just makes boring. Profile six. Profile six. Let's see what they have here. Okay. Okay. Ruth and Bert. Maybe that's not one of your best pictures. It's like, what's going on? <laughs> it's like, it, this is the image. It's like, it's <laughs> cut up too close. Yeah. The background's blurry. Okay. It's a good effect. Okay. It's nice. But like, maybe for the first picture, not the best one what about the uh the facial expression it's not telling much you know <laughs> you don't know if he was trying to be like smiley or he was trying to be mysterious you know he's trying to, to be yeah. ruth and Bert. it's not a terrible picture it is not okay what about what about this reflection in his glasses Please. here's a little pro tip if you have a girlfriend or wife or any girl you're with that takes a picture of you and you're wearing sunglasses and it reflects her in the sunglasses don't post that to girls or on your so social media because they will see that looking for an opera date it should be Anne. i mean that's a i'm a fucking grammar police nut that shit bothers me i automatically judge someone do you do, do you judge a guy if he makes a grammar mistake i know yeah you do oh uh, yeah what do you make of the fact that he's looking for an opera date i mean that's going to screen out a whole bunch of girls unnecessarily yeah what do you what's your thoughts here Oh, well, it's a dog, so dogs is not, <laughs> Dogs are always nice, but the picture is really The dog really looks kind of mean, right? Yeah. The problem is the picture. What is this on the top? It's like the ceiling is like too down. He's like in the basement. What is that? <laughs> you know? That's why even the dog doesn't save this picture. That's the truth. And how would you improve this? If you want to take a picture of the same dog, what would be your suggestions? Oh, a big dog like that? Why don't you go outside and take a picture of this big dog? Like running, him jumping or hugging. This one, he looks a little too intense, but I'll let you yeah. give your feedback. Not a good picture as well. Like, I'm sorry, but the car looks like kind of <laughs> shitty. And it's not like, oh, all girls are gold diggers. They suck. Oh, I hate girls because they're all into it. My... No, no, it's not about that. <laughs> It's about just not look good. Yeah. And it's not that you need to pose in front of a sports car or something like that. You no. just don't want to have things work against you for no reason. Exactly. You don't need like to to have like a really <laughs> badass car, but you don't need to work against yourself, you know? What does this convey to you? It's like, <laughs> oh, do I want to go in a date with this guy? Maybe not. I'm probably scared. Uh, it's more strong. It's like there's light. It's daylight. It's like it's nice. There's no roof. That's yeah. like even if it's like another head. guy, maybe I would remove the other guy from the picture. But it's like nice. I yeah, like you could edit one. the other guy out. What would you rate this one? Oh, this one he goes like for the eight, like seven point nine eight. Bird. Remove all the other pictures. Keep this one and add the new pictures. Add the two, three more good pictures <laughs> that you have. You know. But like, hopefully this, you know, this shows you guys, like there's even still like a bunch of room for improvement, even after you've got the pro shots. Here's all the guys using whatever pictures from their phone. Pro shoot elevates you a bunch, but then you run into new problems and you have to deal with those. Don't use the same shirts. Don't use the same backgrounds. Don't look too posed. Okay. Don't have like, excuse me, like a shitty room. Like don't have a whole bunch of people in the shot. There's other stuff. Like people have like shots where they're like way zoomed out or way too zoomed in. And we have all this shit in our fucking guide when you join the eight week program or when you buy the dating profile maximizer. Scores, I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.